What's going on everybody? Stridebreaker back at it again. Last time we handed it to our rival who stole Totodile and then faced us and we crushed him. So now this time we have to report back to Professor Elm. So let's get back in here. See what's going on? Elm, you see a freaking police officer. Like I said, this guy is literally like blue except like a freaking criminal. Yeah, so now he's going to ask for his name, so you get to pick his name. So I've been trying to think of a fitting name for him, so someone that just, you know, makes everyone's life a living hell and ruins everything. But, you know, someone already called their rival Corona and Pokemon Crystal. So, hmm, let me see here. How about... Huh. You know what? I'm just going to call him Asshole. No, how about Dickhead? I think that that's, uh, I think that's a pretty fitting name. So, uh, let's go for dickhead here, especially since, oh, it doesn't even fit. Okay, yeah, whatever, we'll just call you asshole. Yeah, because, you know, in later Pokemon games, you, uh, you can't do this. So I think, uh, now would be a fitting time to do it when this is literally the worst ri Like, when I say worst rival, like, he's a complete asshole. That's why that's his name. Not like, oh, he's like, kind of a jerk. Compared to, uh, some other rivals, he's a pretty good rival, to be honest. Now we're talking to Professor Elm, and yeah, this is terrible... Mr. Pokemon's lab is big, the mystery egg. So, yeah, this. Well, it's a Pokemon egg. Yeah, we know it's a Pokemon egg, bro. It's nice talking about it with Professor Oak gave us all this crap and, you know, how he kind of sucks at his job. Okay, Elm, um, we get it, bro. Can you just hurry on? So, yeah, now he's going to tell us about how we need to uh, do the Pokemon Gym Challenge to get all the badges. So, let's go. Yo, let's say bye to our mom. So, let's just take a look at this poor Chikorita. He has a Pokemon caught by Professor Elm, so yeah, Chikorita's just chilling in there, never to be caught by anyone. Here's one of his aides. He was like, Matt, use these on your quest, and he throws a Pokeball, so you get five Pokeballs to start off with five, so you know you can catch Pokemon with those. Yeah, throw them at wild Pokemon, and you will find them. So yeah, some uh, pretty good advice you're giving me there. So we have to say bye to our mom, so where is our mother? You see that visitor has left? I'm assuming that was like my aunt. Yeah, damn right, Inferno's cute guy, I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, so she's asking if you uh, want us to uh, keep money for her. Now, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I actually kind of recommend them that because she'll buy you useful items and those berries that weaken certain types. But in this, she'll buy you like a Pokemon doll or whatever. Don't do it, just keep your money, especially if you're using Cyndaquil, because if you're using Cyndaquil, you're going to want to get some of your money because the Fire Blast TM is very expensive, and that's a really good move for Typhlosion and Cyndaquil. So, I would, uh... Suggest uh, hanging on to as much money as possible and being as cheap as possible for using Cyndaquil. So if you're here now, this is another thing I like. Now normally this guy is like, yeah, you know, I've seen you uh, a few times, you haven't caught any Pokemon. So he gives you the option if you want to see the tutorial or, tutorial or not, which I love and I wish that, you know, they were doing this in 2001. Why couldn't they be doing this, you know, now? So yeah, I'm obviously going to say heck no because we all know how to catch Pokemon. Oh yeah, so by the way, if you're at night, you could uh, catch uh, Hoot Hoot. Now, Hoot Hoot evolves the Noctowl at uh, level 20. Now, the thing with Noctowl is it doesn't, uh, it's pretty good defense. It's really good special defense. I like, think it's like a base 96. So not a bad Pokemon whatsoever. The only issue is is that it doesn't really get any good stab attacks. It be using like, a lot of psychic moves and stuff like that. It's really good with the screens, but it just doesn't have the best stats. And I don't think holds up as well later on. Well, I feel it's always just it's been a weird Pokemon to me. It's, this is definitely when it's at its best, though. I think uh, it's still a really usable Pokemon, but actually, I don't know about it. If uh, you're using a flying type, I recommend it catching Spearow, which is coming up. is a great flying type, and we finally got the level 8 there, which I believe we're learning Ember now. And no, we're not. Wow. Because we'll just keep moving along on our mystical adventure throughout the Johto region. Let's go here in a wild. Oh crap! And you guys just completely heard me burp there. And oh my god, I ran the wrong. That's uh went through the wrong place. I will fight this next wild Pokemon because I'm tired of uh popping in and out of stuff. So let's see who it is. It's a Pidgey, so we're about to tackle this in level three, so we have a five level advantage. Let's give Pidgey to tackle. If you want to weaken a Pokemon, Leer is definitely a great move to do it with, especially if they start spamming Growl on you. You know, just hit them with a good old a Leer, and then they'll be a lot softer to hit. But if we have a three hit kill, I don't think a Leer is going to do that much because I'm going to have to go for a Leer anyway, so it's still going to be three hits even if I do get down to uh, two hits. So there we go, Inferno taking names. Also, uh, this is a game that introduces IVs, which essentially, if you beat a Pokemon, it gives you a certain value for its like highest stats. So like. A Rattata might be speed, so then if you fight a bunch of Rattata, you're going to get up a lot more uh, speed when you uh, level up. 
So if you go up here, this is a place that a lot of people skip usually. So and here's a really cool area, Route 46. Now, gonna get some of the Pokemon that are currently in here, opposed to what you, the large amount you'll be able to get in this area once you get here when you're on the eighth gym. So that's a long ways away. But right now you can get Geodude, Spiro, and in the morning with the only five percent chance you get Fanfy, which is the new Pokemon. Well, you know, you really think that you'd make Fanfy a more available Pokemon, especially since it's new. So I'm going to catch one of the Pokemon here. But so how about we do this? I'm going to skip ahead Lead right now, go into the comments, and predict what Pokemon I will be adding to my team. So I will come back to you guys once I find it. And here it is. Here is Fanfy, the newest member of my team. We got we, we were pretty lucky with this, a 5% chance to find. And guess what? We found it in like 5 tries. So not bad at all. Certainly very lucky with it. So let's go for a tackle. Let's weaken this thing. Please don't kill it. So yeah, I'm not going to go for another... No. 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 Okay. I'm done. See you guys next time. Okay, okay, okay. We didn't get uh, the worst luck. It only took us a few more Pokemon, probably about eight more, to uh, run into this Manaphy. So I'm not even going to screw around. I'm just going to throw the Pokeball at this thing. And hope it gets through, because I am not going to play this game of getting this 5% chance Pokemon and having it run away all the time. So let's just hope it catches. Come on. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, so uh, Fanfy is a really good uh, physical Pokemon, just in terms of defense and offense. When it evolves to Donphan at level 25, it has base 120 defense and attack, and it's a ground type. Um, unfortunately... Don't do it. 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 And finally, here's another one. That one took like 10 plus Pokemon, so it just gets worse every time. So let's just not even screw around. Let's just hope this thing gets in the damn Pokeball. Just get in there, Fampy. You're going to get in there eventually. Okay, come on. One. No, 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 no. No! Why? 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 I hate this game so much. Three Fampies have run away. You know what? I'm, I don't care, I'm just going to tackle it, and it's not going to flee. Okay, you know, I'm convinced I'm getting a Fampy this time. I will will it in existence. No, 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 no. Holy crap, it was the next one. I can't believe it. Okay, so let's just go for a tackle, and let's hope you don't flee. If you flee, I'm going to flip shit. Why? Why? Why is Fampy so hard to catch? Why? It's already super rare, but why is that to be so hard to catch, Fampy? Just get in the damn ball. Finally! I have literally been looking for another Fanfy for like a half hour. A freaking half hour compared to like the few minute intervals that there have been between the other ones. So I'm not even screwing around. Let's just go for Pokeball. I've almost got it a few times. Let's just hope that it catches this damn elephant. Just get in the freaking ball. One, two, three. No! No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I only have one ball left. Only have one ball left. Come on, just, just get in, just get in the ball, Fampy. I I hate this game. I hate this game. Why, why, why does this have to happen? Why? <sighs> well, I guess I get to show you guys inside of Pokemart now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess I wanted to uh, show you inside of Pokemart, which I wasn't going to do till later in the part, but I guess I might as well do it now because I'm going to buy more Pokeballs, which kind of interferes with my plan, with my plan to be as cheap as possible, so I get the Fire Blast TM ASAP for my Cyndaquil uh, Inferno, but I guess plans change. Also, I was going to do other stuff in this part, but yet again, plans change, so I'm going to need a good chunk of these, so okay, let's not buy 10. Let's buy 5 more balls. Use a large uh, chunk of our money. So we're going to get back into that route, and we are going to find a damn Fanfy. That last one, I was seriously at that for like a half hour. It was absurd, and not to mention all the other ones that have run away. So apparently, when, when every time I use Tackle, it runs away, like every time, so I can't weaken in. I'm always so close every time. This is getting like painfully bad. Is there still a berry here? Yep, we already got the berry from there. I'll just try again for this Fampy. You know what? I'm convinced I'm going to get it on the first try here. I am convinced that I will get this Fampy on the first try. I'm not even going to edit it out. Let's see. I'm convinced that this very first one will be a Fampy, meaning I will get two Fampies in a row. 
No, but it's a Geo, dude. Back to editing. Okay, ten minutes later, and we finally run into another one of these assholes. Okay, just don't be a prick. Don't run away. Okay. Okay. And finally another fan feed. That one took about 15 minutes, so I've been at this well over an hour at this point. Let's just throw a damn ball and just, you know, hope we, we could get it. We're just going to keep throwing balls at them until we get it. I will not stop until I catch this freaking miniature elephant. Come on. One. Two. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm going to be here all day, aren't I? This is... <laughs> God damn it, I hate this. I hate this so much. You know, I know I say it every time, but this next one will be a fanfy. Watch, it will be a fanfy. Give me a fanfy. No, it's a sparrow. I don't want a freaking Spiro. I want a, a, a friggin' fanfy. Yeah, you know, I got a censorship for all those two year olds watching. A long last, we meet again, my arch nemesis. Okay. Just throw the ball at this thing. And hope that we can catch it. Come on. Come on. I hate my life. I know it's gonna run. run. Yup, I knew it was gonna run. Okay, uh, plan B. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna catch a polywag because they know hypnosis. And I'm gonna use it on Fampy, so as long as it hits, there's only a 55% chance a hypnosis is gonna hit. Like 65. I'm gonna hit the Fampy with it. Don't throw the ball and it'll hopefully work, because every time I attack it, it runs away, so I don't I don't know what they expect me to do here. But yeah, pretty much the reason why I'm saying that is, what, what happens is I schedule myself, because I'm in quarantine right now, but as long as I'm doing stuff solo and not around, everyone's fine. So I run independently places, and I have it scheduled to go at 5, and hey, this is when the video is supposed to be coming out. I've been doing this for a little hour and a half. I didn't think it was going to take this long to catch a goddamn fan feed. So I'm going to do a follow-up video to this later on to kind of get it uh, all squared away where we'll catch the fan fee. So maybe, maybe, uh, maybe just one uh, pitch of luck right here for another fan fee. Nope, just seeing, I swear, I've literally run into 100 Geodudes. So this has been Stridebreaker. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys next time.